Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Millie and today I am testing a brand new mascara from Essence. This is the Essence Another Volume Mascara Just Better. Now I have just applied this. We will get into the application and the wand and I am also going to be checking in with you throughout the day to do a full day wear test because for me the longevity of a mascara and its ability to stay stuck on my lashes and not transfer around my eyes that is the real like testing point for me. A mascara can look fantastic but if it smudges it's a no from me. So we'll get into the application and the wear test. So this is the mascara that we're going to be testing today. I saw this in Wilco's yesterday and it had a shiny new like label thing on it. So I don't know how new it is, I just know that it's new. So I wanted to test it for you today. So this is the Essence Another Volume Mascara Just Better. And it has hyaluronic acid and panthenol don't know what the benefit of panthenol is obviously hyaluronic acid is hydrating i don't know what benefit that has to your eyelashes but we're giving it a go today i have the essence lash princess mascara this one and i do like it it is very very good it's very lengthening very thickening but it transfers like crazy. I can't wear it on like an everyday basis when I'm at work where I'm not able to check it regularly. I just can't wear this one. It smudges everywhere. I mean, it lasts on the lashes well, but it smudges under my eyes. It smudges above my eyelids and it just drives me crazy. So I do like it. It is very much worth the money, but not for a busy out and about day. Today I have a busy out and about day but we're testing a new mascara and I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope that it doesn't transfer like the Lash Princess one. So I will link below everything else that I have on my face that isn't what this whole video is about but if you want to know I will link it down below but let's just, I haven't even looked at the brush or anything so let's just see what this is like oh i wasn't expecting the brush to look like that it is very straight the bristles are like a natural like it's not a plastic brush they are bristles they are very like flexible very black <laughs> Ah, I wasn't expecting that to look like that. The formula is very, very wet, which, I mean, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I will zoom you in and we will apply this on one eye and see how long it takes to build up. So if you don't know, then I will just explain while I'm applying this. I like a really thick, really volumized lash. I like the lashes to be really black, really thick, really long, but my biggest thing for mascara is it not transferring, which is why that Lash Princess one bothers me so much, because it just smudges everywhere and I can't get on board with that. So we'll see, I'm going to do a full day wear test today to see how this looks by the end of the day. I will try and do check-ins throughout the day as well, but I'm hoping for about eight hours wear out of this. So, one coat that layered on very, very quickly. That is giving me nice length, not crazy, crazy volume, not crazy, like, thick, um, but length definitely that looks really really pretty I will also put it on the lower lash line so that's a before and after with just one coat I will now put one coat on this eye and put another layer on this eye so that you can see the difference between one layer and two okay 
So that's one coat on this eye and two coats on that eye. So that's definitely building up. That is now I'm happy with how this is looking. It's thickened, it's lengthened, it's kept everything really nicely separated. The only thing is because the end of the brush isn't very thin, I was sort of stabbing into my skin a little bit on the inner corner, getting that volume in there on those inner corner lashes and I did just have to go in and clean that up whereas my other mascara ones where they have more of a tapered end because it's slightly thinner you can sort of get into those places a little bit more but I really like how that's looking so far so I'll even up the eyes <laughs> so that is two coats on both eyes I feel like that looks initially really really nice i'm really happy with how that is it's really black it's really quick to layer up i feel like that didn't take me as long as like another mascara like if i were to describe it against like the lash sensational it's quicker than that i would say in my collection of mascaras i will zoom you out <laughs> whilst I talk here. Uh, in my collection of mascaras, I would say that it is most similar to the e.l.f. Big Mood in that it's very quick to get that very intense amount of like thickness and blackness. The real test for me will be seeing how this looks by the end of the day because the e.l.f. Big Mood does not budge does not transfer, does not flake off, stays put all day. I will be putting this to the test, like I said, and I will do check-ins throughout the day so that you can see how this is looking. But first impressions, really, really impressed. Well, today <laughs> has been a day. I am wearing a completely different outfit. I <laughs> ended up leaving the house shortly after I filmed the first half of this video and ended up sitting in a field watching my husband play cricket all day long in like 30 degree heat. So this mascara has definitely had a good run out today. This has been a very, very good test. Now, it is the middle of summer. So obviously my face has been like sweating and my eyes have been running because hay fever is a thing. Um, so the bottom lashes on this eye have come off. However, just the mascara has come off, sorry, not the lashes. In case you're wondering what time it is, it is 10.55 and it was 11 o'clock when I filmed the first half of this video. This makeup has been on my face for 12 hours and I've been sat out in the sun. I'm a little bit delirious. I apologise in advance. But the mascara on the bottom lashes has come off just from where my eyes have been watering and I have been wiping away. However, even with this amount of heat, I would expect the top lashes to have imprinted onto my eyelids and that has not happened and on this side where I don't know why this eye always runs a lot more this side it hasn't run at all like these lashes look less covered than they did when I very first did my makeup but they are looking fine there's no like fallout or crumbling or transfer or anything like that on either side or on the top and today was a really really good test for it because I have spent all day sweating and being out in the direct sun and such things so this has been a very very good test so my overall like final thoughts on my first impression of this new essence mascara is that it's really really fantastic and I'm looking forward to playing with it some more as for the hyaluronic acid and panthenol claims I suppose that will remain to be seen. I wonder if the hyaluronic acid is like a conditioning sort of treatment for your lashes to help them grow. Just another, sorry that's not the name of it, another volume mascara just better. 
I would say that this is a very good volumizing mascara. They did have some other ones in the range, so when my time comes to buy a new mascara, I may be tempted to buy that one. And as for the other claims, I have no idea because the writing on the back of this tube is all in a completely different language, so I couldn't tell you what any of the claims are. But for a volumizing mascara that is so easy to get your hands on in the UK, anyway, it's very, very easy to get your hands on. And I can't even remember how much this was. Let me get my receipt actually, because that would be interesting to know. So that mascara was £3.50. £3.50 for a mascara, and it does not smudge on the hottest day of the year. I am here for that, and I'm fairly certain, yeah. Essence is vegan, so what a win. Really, really, I'm a big fan of that. Looking forward to playing with it some more. So that is my full review and a 12 hour wear test when that wasn't the length of time that I wanted to test this mascara for, but that's the amount of time that we've got. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more from me. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.